Let me take you back to the summer of 2012. I was invited to a housewarming barbecue by my longtime friend and his wife. When I arrived on that sunny Saturday afternoon, the barbecue was in full swing. Sausages were sizzling, children were playing, and the garden was full of my mate's family and our mutual friends. All was going great. Beer was flowing and everyone was enjoying themselves, including my friend's teenage daughter and her two male friends hanging around the corner of the garden. The thing is, I couldn't help but notice one of the goth-looking teens kept spitting on the floor. The floor of the garden where children were playing, where people were eating, the garden of the house my friend and his wife worked so hard to save money to buy. I could tell everyone had noticed the spitting taking place and was bothered by it, but no one said anything, and the spitting did not stop. The noise of it seemed to be getting louder. All I could hear was spitting. Something needed to be done. Someone needed to stop this madness. Maybe it should be me, for not all heroes wear capes. Excuse me, I said. Do you mind not spitting all over the floor? There are kids playing and quite frankly, it's disgusting. Oh, okay, said the youth. Then him and his mate and my friend's daughter skulked off into the house. I did it, I thought to myself. I stepped up and saved the day. I did the right thing. I rescued the barbecue. Perhaps I'll be lifted aloft and paraded around the garden. Maybe a standing ovation, handshakes, a pat on the back. But nothing. The garden was silent. Strange, I thought. That seemed a bit odd. I did a good thing. Why is no one acknowledging what just happened? Anyway, the chatter finally started again and the party got back to normal. After five or so minutes, my friend's wife, who'd been preparing salad in the kitchen, came outside and said to me, Did you tell Kenny to stop spitting in the garden? To which I replied, Yeah, I did. It was pretty gross. Oh, she replied. He actually suffers with Tourette's syndrome and can't help spitting, oh. especially when he's nervous. Oh, my gosh. I wanted to jump headfirst into the barbecue. What had I done? It turns out everyone else Ooh. at the party knew about his condition. Why had no one said anything to me? Why wasn't I told? Why? Why? But it gets worse. I proceeded to get very drunk and apologise to Kenny, but it didn't stop there. I tried to cure his Tourette's using breathing techniques oh I'd seen on YouTube. Good grief. <laughs> on Good YouTube! Grief. My mate's mother-in-law walked in on this and thought I was trying to hypnotise him. Oh. oh, God. This was seven years ago, and I've thought about it more than once a day since. Save me, John and Ellis. Save me from my shame. Well, we all make mistakes. From a very selfish point of view, the fact you're using YouTube shows that you're a young listener, which is great for us. Yes. But I completely understand why you'd think about that every day for the rest of your life. Now, the problem is there... In one sense, you've been Ill you've not been informed of the situation. And yeah, were yeah, you yeah. to just see someone intentionally spitting on a garden constantly where kids are playing, you'd be right to go, yeah. I thought that, mate. I remember when I was at school, spitting was basically the favourite hobby of the cool kids. Oh, big scene, big spitting scene at my school. <laughs> but the absolute horror of having told someone with Tourette's who cannot help the fact they're yeah. spitting would probably tear me in twain. Yeah, but you can't be expected to know everyone's conditions. You can't? You know, you weren't informed, but I'm actually, that shame has made me tired. 